Hello everyone, welcome to the Security Center Practical Series. Today we'll do the practical creating syslog server. So the software resources we'll be using the host OS will be Windows 10, guest OS Kali Linux and the virtualized software is Oracle VirtualBox 7.0. So what exactly is syslog? So syslog is short form for system logging protocol. It is a standard protocol for logging and monitoring system messages. So it provides a mechanism by which we can collect, process and store log information from different components of a system or network. So these messages are sent by various devices like routers, switches, servers, workstations, etc. So that they, this actually information is given to the log server where they are, this information is sto stored and analyzed. Now the various applications of syslog are the first is system monitoring. So it tracks system activity and health and identifies the performance issues or resource constraints. Then we can even troubleshoot. So if there is any error, we can diagnose the error, detect the error and investigate the security breaches or failed processes. Then it can also be used for security auditing. So we can monitor unauthorized access attempts and identify suspicious or malicious activities in the network. Then uh, compliances, it stores logs as part of legal or regulatory compliances. Then we can have centralized log management. So it aggregates the logs from multiple devices for simplified management. It helps in maintaining logs from geographically distributed devices. Then it also gives proactive alerts so we can configure rules so that they can generate alerts when specific conditions are met just for example there is a login failure so we can actually get that information so now let us go into the practical so now for performing the practical i have this oracle virtual box i just click on it and then this is kali linux virtual machine just start this So the password and the username and password is Kali. Now after logging in, we open up a terminal. So this we open up a terminal. Now uh, the very first command is we need to update. So sudo apt update. Ensure that. Uh, there is an active connection internet connection because if uh, syslog is not uh, installed we need to install syslog so first we need to update after updating we will now install uh, syslog In case if it is already installed, no need to install. But I'll show the step. In my case, I think it is installed. So R syslog. So it is installed. Now we go to the next step. We need to enable and start syslog. So sudo system ctl. Then enable R syslog. So it it is now enabled. Now next is uh, the same thing. We need to start syslog. Start our syslog. So we are done with this now. Now next uh, we need to actually uh, get access to the configure file, configuration file. So we type the command. We need to make some changes there. etc slash r syslog. I'll show what changes we need to make. C-O-N-F. When we type it, we get this. This is the 
configuration file now what changes we need to make is we need to uncomment this you can see this uh, here provides you this line you can see provides you dp syslog reception so we need to uh, uncomment this part and this also so that it actually uh, receives it is a it is able to receive the udp as well as cd uh, tcp messages so this is done just need to un uh, just uh, enable this line then uh, we need to exit so control x save modified buffer we'll type yes for yes and then enter so this is modified okay so now all this thing the logs will be uh, actually noted down now next what we do we restart so sudo system ctl restart r syslog okay. next uh, in case if it is fi if firewall is enabled then we need to allow the traffic for five one port number five one four for both the port number for both the ports for TCP as well as UDP processes sudo UFW allow so in case if it is uh, actually enabled we need to do this step for TCP so this will be added now one more thing is U UDP also so this so this rules are added now next uh, we need to we will test the local logger okay. through the local logger so we will just type the sorry so we will send one message I will explain this code <laughs> so we are just typing a message So I'm just typing this message test for I smile. Now what this uh, code line is logger it is a command line utility which is used to create log messages and send them to the system's logging service. So in our case uh, our uh, we, have t we, we have given the specific address as 127.0.0.1. This will send the message to our own machine and this P is the port number and 514 is the port now because this uh, syslog service is an application layer protocol and it is run it is running at port number 514 so this is the port number and this is the message we will we will see on this test for i smile this is the message will be displayed in the syslog now next we need to check it real time so what i do is i'll just type the message tail then uh, f v a r So we'll type this message. So yes, we this is the log information which we are having. Now what this command is, I'll explain this command tail. So it is a command line utility to display the last few lines of a file. By default it will show that last 10 messages in the syslog. Now F is uh, follow. This means uh, that this option tells the tail to continuously monitor the file for new addition and display and displays a new line. So here is our message. So this is the you can see the message test for sm I smile. This is the message which is displayed, which we had sent, and this is uh, what we are getting. So whenever we are logging this, th some other information are also displayed along with this. So what we did is we got this test for I smile. So this is the logging information. Now the logging information is customized information. As we can see, it gives the information like the last line which we are interested in. It gives the date, then the time, and the logger and uh, the port number and this is the message that tests for icemail apart from this there are many other logging information so this is how the syslog works so that's all for this particular session thanks for watching